Caleb here. Look, it's been a while since I've done a video. I apologize for my little absence streak here. Uh, things have been kind of crazy. I'll try and jump right into this review. Uh, you guys know I love productivity, automation, puzzle games. Those are the things that I really kind of like. Uh, about a month ago, sort of around that timeline, Francisco Franco released an app called 5217. Uh, I did not purchase it then. Um, I had some reservations. I can kind of explain that in a little bit. And then uh, a little over a week ago, he sent out uh, a message on Google Plus that he was looking for some feedback. I'm opinionated. Dude, gotcha. Let me have at it. So I pull up the app and um, I'll talk to initial impressions. Uh, but before I do that, I probably need to explain what the app's intent is. Uh, 5217 was based off a study, uh, and it's in the about section of the app. Uh, I'll also include it in the description below. It's based off an article on the Muse, and uh, I'll try and pull it up here. Essentially what it said was, over an extended amount of time analyzing people, the article concluded that the most productive people worked in buckets of like 52 minutes, and then they take a break and work... Uh, have about a 17 minute break and just kind of repeat this cycle um that was interesting to me i don't usually take breaks during the day and if i do they're certainly not 17 minutes um and the idea of it being broken up like that was kind of interesting to me um so i thought all right well let me try this out so um that's kind of what the app was created for the intent um now initial impressions you know you pull up this app this is kind of what you get. You can see I'm in the middle of a work cycle right now. Um, you'll notice it's kind of like Carolina bluish color. Um, I will go ahead and hit this recycle button. What that does, it brings me back to my 52 minutes. Uh, you'll notice the color change to a darker blue. Uh, that's important to note because as the 52 minutes dwindles down, the color goes from a dark blue to a white. And when it's your 17 minute like playtime if you will uh, the screens white so you've kind of got this visual uh, hue color that is a nice kind of snapshot of where you are in your cycle because um, I thought the countdown was really basic just that 52 there's not a whole lot going on there there's some kind of cool animation but not much going on there uh, so initial impressions I was really kind of it seems basic um, in the back of my mind, you guys know me, I'm thinking, I could do this with just a clock app, I could do this with Tasker and some plugins. Um, I'll come back to that. Don't do that. Alright, so I'm going to pull up the uh, settings real quick. Go to options, not a whole lot going on here, keep the screen on while charging, blah blah blah. Uh, that I typically don't do. I usually do not keep my screen on. I'm one of those people that's a little bit sensitive to screen burn in right wrong and different may not be an issue but I'm weird about it uh, the notification bar uh, status bar those type things um, being on all the time I'm just weary of that the app itself though you know as I mentioned it's got the animations it's got the screen colors changing so it's not necessarily the app's fault um, and you won't need to keep your screen on uh, you have audio cues, you have the timers, the vibrations. I just noticed that when my screen was on at my desk, it was really nice to be able to just look up and glance at it. Um, otherwise, when I didn't have my Android Wear watch, I was having to pull out my phone and check the time. That's my personality. I really stick to timelines. It bothers me a lot when I'm missing uh, a timeline. I kind of get a little bit of anxiety if I'm running late. So if you're in that wheelhouse, make note of that. If you're not, cool, man. Don't worry about it. Uh, I actually reached out to Francisco about that. And he's like, you know, Caleb, I get it, man. Just uh, do me a favor. Remember, these are averages. If you run long, meetings, conference calls, things pop up. I get it. Just uh, go long, take your break, and then come back and, you know, recycle and start over. That's all there is to it. You hit that recycle button and press that green button to start the timer again very simple um, I will also say if you have an Android Wear watch uh, and this app is of interest to you you'll really love the Wear uh, uh, 
abilities there. You get the uh, countdown, you get a lot of encouraging messages when it's like your work time, you get playful suggestions on how to spend your 17 minute break time, uh, some really positive things there. Um, so um, I guess what I'm trying to get at is while I thought the app was extremely bare bones and basic and I didn't have the ability of changing things like the colors and uh, all that. Eventually I started learning this app is about getting off of my phone and being more productive at work. It does what it's supposed to do in a very minimal and efficient way. Uh, and I can appreciate that now. Uh, when I, and I'm cheap, I am, I know I'm cheap. When it came time to buy the app, I was a little reserved about how simplistic it looked at. That's kind of what I was alluding to earlier. Um, some of you guys may be that way. Um, and, and I mentioned you could probably do something similar functionality-wise, but you're not going to get the experience that this app's giving you for a little over a buck. Um, very visually uh, done well. Uh, animations, the Android Wear, the suggestions, those type things you're not going to be able to do on your own. Um, so I guess if, if I was going to boil down my summary, it's a simple app. It does what it's supposed to do very well. Uh, it will make you more productive if you've got the self-control to try and stick to that 5217 cycle and that you really focus your work in that 52 minutes. A benefit that I did not expect, you mentioning that 17 minute playtime, I use that by walking around and talking to people. Uh, I work in a sales and marketing environment, a lot of conversations, a lot of things in motion all the time. I don't typically take breaks, you know, I mentioned that earlier, but when I had that forced time to go and waste 17 minutes, I mean, that's how I initially took it, uh, it was pretty awesome. I learned a lot of stuff by talking to people that I wouldn't have otherwise. So that was a benefit that I just didn't anticipate from my quote unquote playtime. Um, so, um, anyway, I'm probably rambling at this point. I think you get my, my point though. The app's basic. It does what it does. And if you think that you could benefit from an app that would do that, it is definitely worth the dollar and whatever it is. Um, been a while since I've done the reviews. If you guys have comments, questions, tell me what I did good, tell me what I did bad. You know, I always appreciate that feedback. Thank you guys very much.